Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And I have several new reviews for you guys today. The first one is Natural Born Killers. This movie was released on August 26, 1994. It is a dark crime comedy film that received mixed to positive reviews with critics. Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times gave it 4 out of 4 stars. It has a B- minus on cinema score. It has a 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb, a 47% on Rotten Tomatoes, and an 86% on Google. The movie had a $34 million budget. It made $50.3 million at the box office. Now this was based on the screenplay by Quentin Tarantino, but it was written and directed by Oliver Stone. This, Robert Downey Jr., Tommy Lee Jones, Ronnie Dangerfield, Tom Sizemore, and Luis Lombardi. And the movie is about uh, Mickey Knox and Mallory Knox, who a married couple, they go around on a killing spree. Uh, it shows flashbacks um, of family life too. Uh, Mallory grew up in a house um, with an abusive father. Uh, of course, you have Mickey, you know, same thing. Um, abusive parents, you know. So, they go on a killing spree. Eventually, they get caught. They're in prison. And then from there, all hell breaks loose. Um, I love Robert Downey Jr.'s character in this movie. Uh, he's a TV reporter who is reporting and doing interviews uh, with this couple, most notably uh, Mickey. But, um, this movie, this feels like a quick Tarantino film. <clears throat> now, I said this is based on a screenplay by Quentin Tarantino. Um, he really wanted to do this movie, but he wanted to do it a different way, which studios weren't really wanting. So they brought in uh, Oliver Stone. He tweaked the screenplay and directed it himself. And this is what we got. I remember there was a lot of controversy around this movie when it first came out because of all the blood and the violence and everything. But this is a very good movie. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, the performances stand out. Uh, Woody Harrelson, Julia Lewis, Robert Downey Jr., even Ronnie Dangerfield. He was excellent in this movie because he's you know most notably just known for straight up comedy. But in this movie, it's, it's, like I said, it's a dark crime comedy film. And damn, he was really good uh, playing uh, the father to uh, Mallory. Uh, but yeah, this was a fun movie. Uh, about two hours long, not too bad. And uh, I love the ending. The ending was great. Uh, although you feel for uh, the certain character, or at least one of them, uh, towards the final act of this movie, but uh, you knew it was going to happen eventually. Just a matter of time. Uh, this was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, I did have, you know, some issues with it. Um, I wanted to see more um, of their spree, um, but we didn't necessarily need to see all the blood and uh, and all these things, but um, I wanted to see more just of the, the, the violent part and not so much all the killings. Uh, some of the stuff was kind of over over the top a little bit, or I say excessive, but other than that, this was a fine movie. I'm finally glad I decided to watch this movie. It's been on my list for a long time, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to give Natural Born Killers an 8 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So if you're like me, you haven't seen the movie, definitely check it out. In the comment section below, if you've seen it, give me your thoughts and opinions. And as always, if you're new to the channel, subscribe today for more content. If you like this, hit the like button. Other than that, stay tuned for many more movie reviews. I thank you guys for watching and check you later.